Welcome back to the Sawdust Factory. In this episode, we're going to be turning a solid wood torus. Is that you start with a piece of dried lumber. So that's why I'm going to be using this. It's already been seasoning for quite a few years, so there shouldn't be any movement during the turning process or after. There are some videos out there on YouTube already where people have made torus bowls and they actually turn the inside of the torus out, but for this video we're going to be just focusing on a solid torus. The reason I want to do this project is because I'm right now working on a really big project where I'm going to be gluing up 120 18 section rings into a torus shape and I'm going to be turning that on the lathe. To start the project off, I've marked out a 16 inch diameter circle on the piece right in the middle at the widest spot and I'm going to be taking the chainsaw and roughing this shape out. Okay, here's where we're at. I've got the blank roughly kind of squared out, flat here, flat here, and flat on the other side. This is sloped up in the middle, but that's okay. And then I've got my calipers laid out, dividers laid out to this dimension right here. If I put this on here, I cut a groove right there. So effectively I'll have a square at this point, and that's what I'm going to go ahead and, and round that over into a sphere. Um, this is going to be the diameter of the sphere itself. This piece of wood is a, a lot rougher than I kind of remember it being. I think I'm just going to turn it, go with it, and see where we end up. This is really soft through here. As I turn the shape, I'm using this small quarter circle template here to uh, tell me about where I'm at. So in this particular spot, I'm not touching on either of these corners, so I know i got to take more out in this region right here. almost there still got to take a little bit out right here but I'm getting a lot of tear out on this particular piece so <clears throat> I went back and resharpened my scraper to try and do some work on this with um, and I went back and put a uh, negative rake on the top here so this is a 20% grind right there and then this is 65 degrees off the flat and I'm hoping that will give me the ability to scrape this without getting catches and get some uh, get a better surface finish on it. The gouge is just jumping all over the place with these intermittent pockets and things so this is what we're gonna try and do this. a 
here's the curb so far. Uh, I think the, the scraper did a better job on this backside, but I still got a lot of tear out on the front. There's a lot of cracks in the wood and stuff you can see right here. So for this step, what we need to do is we need to cut at this position here, since that's half the half the diameter of the torus or the section of the torus. We need to cut that down. I would say maybe three quarters of an inch or well not three quarters three quarters of the way down so that when I flip it around and start cutting the other side I leave at least a little bit of a web of material um, to support the torus to do the work on the back side so I'm gonna go ahead and mark my um, cut tool here my parting tool down to where how deep I want to go and then I'm just gonna do plunge cuts through here to get to that depth and then we'll go ahead and work on this profile here. At the same time I'm also going to put a uh, tenon right here so that when I flip it around I can hold on to it with my large jaws. Okay let's go ahead and do that. Okay, I got the chuck on there, but I forgot to uh, sand this down. So <clears throat> I'm gonna go through that process first. Sand down this uh, this here, try and get a little bit better transition right there. And then I'll flip it around and do the other side. Okay, one more thing to do before we flip it around and that is to drill a hole right about here and we're going to drill that hole so that I know when to stop from the other side and I don't cut through the web so that's the that's the depth we're going to drill Okay, so here is the hole. If you can see it, it's right there. So I'm a little bit this way of that. Kind of disappointing, but so that's the way it is. Um, I don't know if my surfaces are going to line up exactly right. Now, the other hole is not showing, and that's because I took it back off and I, I drilled through that second hole again to give me a better idea on the depth. So I'm going to go ahead and take out a little bit more material out of that bottom spot. Um, I'm gonna attempt to stay on this side until I can see that other hole. Okay, so we're almost through. Um, there's really not a lot holding this thing on at this point in time. I think I'm gonna come out pretty close, I think. Um, the hole is, it, it's looking pretty good. 
So I need to go ahead and sand this surface down. I've got a, a lot of vibration in here and some pretty bad tear out right there. So I'm gonna go ahead and sand that down off camera and then we'll, uh, we'll cut it off the hub and see what it looks like. tool hanging out there so it is very bouncy really is not much left go back and give myself another clearance cut okay there it is See how good we did. There's my seam. It's not terrible, but definitely uh, could be better. So I'm gonna go ahead and sand that down and then um, we'll put some finish on it and see what it looks like. Okay, so here it is all finished up. Uh, I did end up sanding it down with my random orbital sander. Um, the inside, there's a couple spots that could probably be cleaned up a little bit more. Not real happy with the way the finish turned out. Um, it's kind of, uh, it's kind of dark. So I might come back and do a little bit more sanding on it so that with some 400, maybe even some 600, to try and get the the finish a little bit a little bit more chatoyants in there also didn't fill in all the spots where there were wormholes and stuff with finish i'll probably come back later on with a brush and um, do that but i kind of like the imperfections in it i think it's it's cool to see a piece of wood that is kind of junky um, made into something so it is pretty heavy i would say it weighs about four or five pounds um, definitely not light so it's a relatively solid piece of wood so I'll, uh, I'll put some pictures up of the finished piece maybe after I finish sanding it down again and put another coat of finish on it maybe um, try and buff it some but that's the video for today so thanks for watching here at the sawdust factory uh, check out my channel for other YouTube videos, hit the thumbs up button for me, and be sure to subscribe. Thanks for watching.